In today's video, we'll see a flame that never goes out, discover a lake full of skeletons, and even go to the land of snakes. But first, let's take a look at this strange being terrorizing some local villagers. Now, before the video starts, I want you to go down right now and hit that like button. Also, while you're down there, make sure to subscribe for more videos. If you do hit that subscribe button, then also hit that bell icon next to the subscribe button so you can turn on post notifications. If you have hit that like button, you did subscribe to the channel then let me know by putting a comment below saying i subscribe and i'll reply back to 100 lucky individuals number 10 munachwa i gotta be honest with you this photo of a strange alien like being probably came from a b movie or maybe sign that's kind of hard to tell nowadays to be fair over in bollywood hundreds of those are being produced every year aside from that wild speculation i can't really tell you what the creature is but did you know that there is a reported alien creature which terrorized India in the past? It was dubbed the Monakwa, a creepy, formless creature that plunged the town of Uttar Pradesh into fear and hysteria in 2000. Nobody really knows what the mysterious creature is, but those attacked had scratches on their faces, and some even died. Many believe it to be an alien creature that hailed from an unknown planet. It would appear as a bright orb of light that would hover and attack the villagers. Other accounts say that it was a clawed, spider-like creature, but one thing is for sure, those who were attacked never remembered what happened to them. Two years after the mass hysteria in Uttar Pradesh, the attacks has spread to Lucknow. This is when the government decided to take control of the situation and get involved. Police and psychiatrics have been deployed to examine what happened with the villagers, and the result of their investigation was baffling. It appears that the residents themselves made those scratches using nails, forks, and other sharp objects. However, the residents themselves have no memory of what they have done. Number 9. Red Rain, Iduk Kerala We've often heard stories about the Nile River turning blood red in the Bible, but we've never heard of Red Rain before. But it has happened, and the mysterious country of India seems like the perfect place for it. It all started in September 2001, when a torrential downpour of pinkish red to dark red rain engulfed Iduk Kerala. The villagers were in a manic state because they thought that it was the end of the world. The red rain continued to pour for two months, prompting various scientists and government agencies to take samples and study the strange phenomena. The following year, another downpour was again witnessed in the region. And not only that, the strange phenomenon even reached Sri Lanka. And it seems that the red rain is no stranger to this area. Based on historical records, the first recorded downpour was dated 1896. It is a recurring event with the latest recorded downpour in 2012. As of right now, there are no concrete explanations as to why this phenomenon occurs, but there are three significant theories released by scientists. First, it was of cosmic nature, meaning it was caused by dust particles of an asteroid, as residents would report a loud booming sound and bright light before the onset of the blood rain. The second one is extraterrestrial in origin. It was reported that the rain is a living organism, but the DNA is not that of a human, so maybe it belongs to an alien species. The most rational and plausible reason is algae spores, and yes, ordinary spores from algae cause the tinting of the rainwater. Not as exciting, but more plausible. Whatever the cause is, no one can certainly fault the villagers who panicked at the sight of this strange weather. Number 8. Wolves of Pavagata Karnataka Each culture has its own version of werewolves. Still, it's usually in legends and not recorded attacks. The town of Pavagata in Karnataka, India has a three-decade murder mystery that may have been related to the werewolves, though. The tale started when a five-year-old girl was abducted in her home in the middle of the night in April of 1983. This disappearance was not uncommon, as children could wander off from home. Still, it became more suspicious when another girl was taken in the same manner two days later. Paw marks were discovered at the crime scene, but what people found the most baffling is the lack of signs of dragging or struggle at the crime scene. As days and weeks passed, five more girls lost their lives. All that remained were skulls and limbs. The government immediately attributed the killings of the man-eating wolves. They hunted them as well as hyenas that were near the town, and the attack seemed to calm down after the hunt. But two months later, another abduction happened. To date, the mystery is not yet solved, and the tale of man-eating wolves or werewolves will forever cast a dark shadow on the town of Pavagata. Number 7. Jatinga Bird Suicide, Assam The scenic town of Jatinga in Assam, India has this hundred-year-old mystery that hasn't been solved yet. The mass suicide of over 40 local and migratory bird species is a tragic sight, marring the reputation of this otherwise beautiful place. It's said that the first recorded mass suicide was dated 1910, but it came to worldwide prominence in 57. 
This puzzling event occurs during the month of September to November every year, where the peaks of the surrounding mountains are shrouded with fog. There are many theories as to why this strange phenomenon occurs. One stems from a local myth that says spirits flying in the sky are responsible. Another theory states that the birds are disoriented by the fog and bright lights on the hills. The third theory is that during those months, a strange magnetic phenomenon leaves the birds confused, thus causing suicide. Whatever the reason may be, this heartbreaking scene is truly one of India's unsolved mysteries. Number 6. Abandoned Village, Kodhara, Rajasthan The abandoned village of Kodhara, India is one of the country's most visited tourist places. It was formerly inhabited by Paliwal Brahmins, a people known for their extensive understanding of agriculture. The Paliwals were able to grow crops in the harsh, dry conditions of the desert by identifying areas that stored gypsum rock, a soft mineral made up of 20% water. They also utilized their trading skills to help the community prosper, expanding over time and living among one another for nearly six centuries. Then one night in 1812, the villagers' inhabitants simply disappeared, taking with them only what they could carry on their backs. It's unclear what actually forced the residents to flee, though. One theory suggests that the ever-dwindling water supply forced villagers to seek new resources elsewhere. If true, it still doesn't explain why everybody left in a huff under the cover of night. We might never know the answer to this one here. Number 5. Motorcycle God We all know that India has many deities, the most eccentric of which is their motorcycle god, a 300cc bullet motorcycle. Yeah, you heard that right, it's a, it's a motorcycle. They believe that this motorcycle is a god that ensures safe travels for some reason. The temple of the motorcycle god is located in Rajasthan, India, and they call it Bullet Baba. Its legend dates back to 1998 when a son of a local villager died and the motorcycle was left in a ditch. When the authorities took the motorcycle to the police station, it vanished overnight. It was then found again at the site of the accident. It's believed that the spirit of Ombana, the rider, was the one helping injured or stranded passengers. Thus, they erected a temple to the road guardian. Morning and evening rituals are conducted in this temple as well as offerings, mostly done by sprinkling alcohol onto this motorcycle, which is probably the only time it's okay for vehicles and alcohol to go together. Number 4. The Land of Snakes, Shetpal Masharatashira. Put that name up there, I can't pronounce it very well. Snakes are often feared due to their infamous reputation, but did you know that a village in India co-inhabits with snakes? And I'm not talking about some harmless corn snakes here. Shetpal, a town over in India, is well known to be extremely chummy with one of the most feared snakes in the world, the cobra. How this weird and dangerous cohabitation between men and snakes started is unknown. While snakes, especially the cobra, are revered throughout the country, it doesn't seem to explain the fondness the villagers have for them. In fact, if a villager builds a house, he must also reserve a special corner of his house where these cobras can hang out. Everyone at this place has forged a special bond with the snakes, and quite surprisingly, there have been no reported fatal snake bites in the area. If you want to get close to the snakes as the villagers do, you definitely need to have nerves of steel, though. Number 3. Eternal Flame Temple Jiwaliji Temple is one of the most mysterious temples in India. It's home to a fire that never burns out, and this bizarre flame appears at various places in the temple and is the one that attracts tourists and devout alike. There are many legends surrounding the flames, but they all have one point in common. According to most stories, when Sati, the wife of the Hindu god Lord Shiva, died, her husband then cut up her body into 51 different pieces. Hmm, romantic. Her tongue then fell into this once inconspicuous place and the eternal flame erupted from her tongue. Many scientists tried to explain the mystery of the flame, stating that it was caused by natural gas. Others tried different forms of extinguishing the flames, like pouring water over it, covering it with iron discs, and more. Heck, they even had to invite oil companies to ascertain if there was natural gas present in the area, but nothing was found. Till now, geologists are puzzled as to where the flames originated, but the believers are still adamant that this eternal flame is a remnant of their beloved goddess. Number 2. Lake of Skeletons, Rupkund, India in 1942, a hiker stumbled upon this hair-raising scene. 300 to 800 individuals had their skeletons dumped in this remote Himalayan lake. There's a lot of theories, of course, about the origin of these skeletons, but the real reason why it's still there is not known to this day. One theory was that there are Hindu pilgrims who underwent a 12-year pilgrimage and just kind of died there. That's because there's no signs of trauma indicating a fight happened in this remote place. However, this theory was placed in doubt when bone samples were made and the result came up with an even astounding and unbelievable theory. The skeletons are of three different ages, and the oldest one dating to about a thousand years of age. 
So the big question is, who the heck are these people? And really, why are the remains dumped in this lake off the beaten path? Scientists and locals are still puzzled over this age-old question. Number one. Levitating Stones, Shiva Pur, Maharsha Ratara, I can't pronounce that name, and Hanging Pillar Lepakshi Temple. The Levitating Stone Miracle is one of India's most controversial and mysterious legends. According to the 700-year-old tale, a man named Kumar Ali Darvesh cursed the stone, saying that if 11 men put their right index finger on the stone and jointly called his name, they would be able to raise the ground above their heads. But if only one man does this, he's not going to be able to lift it two feet from the ground. Although many skeptics doubt these claims, devotees of the Sufi saint perform this miracle and attract various tourists worldwide. The Hanging Pillar of the Lepakshki Temple, on the other hand, is one of the great architectural mysteries that has baffled the world. It's said that the place was home to the sage Agastya, and thus is surrounded by many legends. But what really baffles people is that one pillar which appears to be standing on firm ground. Try and slide a stick or a scarf at the base of the pillar, it'll pass clean through, despite not having a visible gap. Many have tried to explain why this happens, but no one succeeded so far. See you guys next time!